Hello everyone, Emp here bringing you a new RenPy tutorial. Today I'm going to talk to you about RenPy OS, which is um, uh, something that Tom has just released and asked me to do a tutorial for. So let's get started. When we create our USB drive, um, I've just inserted a brand new empty USB drive. It's just, you can see right here it's got like nothing on it except the stuff that it came with. Um, that they're trying to sell you crappy security software. So, that, but that's going to go away. So who cares about that? Um, I have Blana Etcher downloaded, and I'm going to set it up right now. I'm going to go ahead and agree to the license terms. Okay, here it comes. Okay, so we're gonna select our image. So if we notice, let's look at the instructions there. We're gonna, we insert the USB drive, run it, select the OS, select the USB drive and choose flash. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Select my image. I'm gonna take, I've got it in my downloads folder. Let's see, run, no, 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 stop that. Run Pi OS right there, fresh download. And then we're going to change our USB then. I believe this is, yeah, this is the right one already. So there we go. And I'm just going to hit flash. And yes, I have to allow it. And here it goes. So what exactly is the point of Run Pi OS? Is it just an April Fool's joke? Um, so yes, it is an April Fool's joke, but it's more than that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a thing right here is, is the idea of it is this is the FAQ that Tom has released is that the the idea is that you can use your USB drive to turn any computer into kind of like a show computer. If you want it to just um, have you know, just the run the run pie game. So, and not have a bunch of other distractions that somebody could potentially get into trouble with. Um, in this case, it's if you want to showcase your game at something like a con or a trade show, this is ideal because you can basically leave people unattended playing your game and not have to worry about what they might do. So there's that. Um, what I've done is I have combined uh, this with the VN room that was part of a previous Patreon article that Tom gave. It should be open to the public now. Um, here is the information. I have gotten a setup of that uh, on a fresh install of RunPy722. And basically, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a preview of what I'm gonna try and install on this USB stick on RenPy OS once it's done. Hello everyone. So I uh, hacked the VN room a little bit. Normally this would be a full screen thing, but uh, my screencast doesn't catch that very well. So I decided I would uh, change that a little bit to show you guys. Basically, this is something that Tom came up with and I showed the Patreon article from before. I'm just making use of it. I put in two of my games and then these, when I click on it, it will launch, basically. See, so there it goes. And then of course, when you stop, it goes back to the room automatically. This is what I saw. Uh, I thought that would be better than trying to show you bad photos from my phone. So at this point, um, what I'm trying to turn it into is not just uh, it, kind of like, you know, Tom made his own custom VN room for Anime Fest so that people could play and switch between a bunch of different visual novels and while they were doing demos and stuff. Um, and basically I've kind of done the same thing as kind of trying to make a, a really nice application of this that somebody could potentially show at a con. Of course they'd have to pretty it up a little bit first, but then, you know, this is how the idea would work in principle. 
Okay, so we've gotten uh, we've gotten done with it, and here we are with RunPy F. Is this is this is my newly formatted USB drive that contains all that. So I'm gonna go ahead and check, take a gander at it, and we'll take a look. And this is what we've got right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and replace this because if we notice that we're saying we're gonna for we're gonna on the running section here it says that in order to replace the game we're going to open we're going to delete the question from the drive and then we're going to take a distribution and put it in there so i'm going to grab all of this here the runpy 722 sdk and i'm going to delete the question And then I'm going to go ahead and put it in, this in here now. So the entire process of flashing the drive and putting this all in here so far uh, has taken less than 15 minutes in the unedited video, which you I won't make you guys actually sit through. But um, so it, it's pretty speedy. I mean, it depends on your computer somewhat, but um, that's that's just how it goes. Hey everyone, so the uh, making of the RunPy OS USB drive was a success. I was able to boot it, but I'm going to talk a little bit about some problems you may encounter on Windows getting this to work. Um, first of all, if you need to be very careful to um, disable your secure boot because uh, otherwise uh, Windows will basically be like, no, I don't want I don't want to boot this. I will go back to my well-known operating system. Um, so, so even if you have it enabled to boot from USB, it will be upset with you over this. Uh, what you need to do is disable this. And it's because this is a hardware kind of issue, it can be different from computer to computer. Uh, for me, I have a Microsoft Surface Pro. So what I did was I went into my boot menu and under the security area, uh, there was a part for secure boot and I disabled that. Now you have to be a little bit careful um, for Windows or at least Windows 10 if you have BitLocker enabled which is your encryption uh, which I believe is enabled by default from Windows 10 now it will make you put in a recovery key to come back to Windows after you disable secure boot even if you enable it again afterwards. Um, so that's not so bad if once if you're a uh, not doing the switch back and forth very often, but uh, it's it's still kind of a pain. So um, what I'd recommend is turning BitLocker off for that time.